Hello everybody, welcome back to the Ultimate Doom. In the last episode we beat the first few maps on Ultraviolence. Now it's time to play E1M Nothing, which of course is the secret map. It's a bit harder than the others, so let's get straight into this. The start is probably one of the most hectic parts of this map. It's because of the sheer amount of hit scanners. And in the middle of all the imps in it. definitely six scanners here, they can be very tricky to deal with. Especially when you alert even more of them. Good night. And there's the yellow key already, see it's not that hard to get to. I can hear a zombie man, I'm not gonna move it about. Oh there he is. That was close. So I alerted some other guys back to because normally you don't get imps come out of these staircases unless you obviously trigger them so he must have saw me a minute ago because all the imps in these rooms are all deaf except for this big group of imps and demons and spectres I think which was spawned in one at a time by the looks of it yeah the spectres here might as well make use of this gun There's quite a lot of demons on this map actually. Pinky demons and yeah. Also there's a couple of traps that can be a bit difficult to fight because of the sheer amount of enemies in them. Big groups of them. Let's go this way. I can hear they're just full of pinky demons. Well we don't need any of this. It might have just made it a bit harder for self coming up this way. Wipe out these imps. Do we got an auto aim? And we time that just right. And this is where we want to be, there's a lot of shotgunners and imps in there. Oh, I love the perfectly placed barrels. Rocket launcher would do this bit quite nicely. And it's as easy as that, I mean, you know what's coming. Okay. Why are you there? Oh, you probably teleported in actually, I forgot, you have to check because sometimes enemies do just randomly appear. I never really come in from this way. This way is a bit safer actually. Oh, that took a nice group of them. One more pinky. And I think that's it. Do you want me to see there's quite big groups of pinky demons? For the first episode at least. But now we can go on to the final area. Big group of spectres here. Can't use this yet. Should have really used that then. Whoops. My mistake. Let's not screw this up. <laughs> there we go. That could be a bit tricky to do because you don't have much of a chance to run. Let's 
just have to tank the damage here. Now we can use this. I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. See, that's quite a fun map. A bit more difficult than others. I do enjoy this map as well. This map's not that hard or longer than the others. I think the majority of the enemies in this level actually are imps. I'm just rapidly wasting this shotgun ammo. I said there's so much, you just don't need to worry. All the ammo I just, I just shot, I just got back instantly basically. Oh, there's an imp up there. I think I dealt with most of them. So in a minute we're going to go for that maze that's literally full of imps. I'm gonna go and grab the soul sphere now. I don't normally grab it now. But we might as well. It's because you have one chance of doing this. Fall off, you won't be able to get back up here. And that's likely gonna trick most people because you have to press the switch, normally it's not standing on the platform. At least that's what you do just by habit really. So on the first playthrough most people will miss that. Nice big group of imps in here as well. And this should is what about these shotguns? Thank you. This is where most enemies are. And they're all imps in there, or pinky demons. Whoa, let's not get shot by you at such a close range. I'm sure everyone knows about this bit here that was so controversial back in the days and had to be changed. Happened to the Nazi flag only because they was referencing Wolfenstein. Right, now we've got to watch out for a nice big group of imps and a few demons. Whoops, I just alert a few more people. <laughs> well, a lot more people. Okay, where's this other imp? I can hear him. There you are. Missile line texture. Oh, bad. <laughs> I think, but I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's every enemy in this part. We still have a few more over here though. Wipe these guys out. He's still alive. I think there's a demon in here as well. No? No. Oh. We must have already alerted him then. We have four enemies left, we've done it right. I can't see. 
No, I forgot somewhere. Where have I forgot? Oh, well, of course. Right back at the start. <laughs> How did I forget that? I know where I'm going. I say that and run straight past it. That's where I gotta go. I think you only have one chance to get up here. I don't know if that lift works again. Oh, I was trying to shoot the barrel, but I actually ended up killing an enemy I was going to kill, use the barrel for, actually. So, a bit pointless, but anyway, let's move on. That's everyone, right? Yep, that's fine. Sometimes I just miss them little areas. Now we've got E1M5. Uh, not one of my favourite maps, but actually one of my favourite tracks from the entire game. I love this song. I just love the whole different atmosphere the song brings. This is kind of songs I like in games, as I've proved on my channel many times before. Yeah, as I say, I think this is probably one of my least favourite levels in the whole of episode 1. There's nothing really wrong with it, it's just... I just enjoy the other ones more, I guess, especially the E1M7. Yes, that's, that's what I wanted. Exploding Gibbs. This is what I mean, one of them lovely chain, chain gun, not chainsaw, chain gun moments where you can just spray it and just kill absolutely everything in your path. Well, I dealt with most of them. Now we've got more rocket launcher ammo. And they really didn't hold back with the ammo. They give you so much. Go on, hit the barrel. And it was pointless, because everyone moved out of the way. Well, at least that one killed the zombie man. If you get in the right spot, you can trigger more enemies here. Or you could blow your own face off, that's a good idea. <laughs> that's better. Are you guys gonna come down? Or... Let's wait a bit longer, see if I can get him to come over here. There we go. It's probably another one I learned as well, but let's just move on. We're getting rid of a minute. Can't believe I just did that. Good thing I had a lot of health and armor. If not, that would have been the death of me right there. Oh, everyone's here. There we go. I think there's one more imp. Oh, it's right in front of my face. And there's two of them. Let's go this way. They can be a little tricky, just because there's a higher monster count, and they come from both ways. But if you're quick enough, you can take them down before these guys even get here. Like that. That works out well. Now for the many secrets. Is this one outside? Not, I would say, is this one actually not counted as a secret? Right, let's go and get this. That's what I need the most. Now we're practically full health and armor again. I mean, I only lost all that because I shot myself. Whoops. There's a zombie man waiting for us. All that time waiting there, just for that. 
Yes, that was a lucky shot. And that's everyone dead. Oh. I forgot how many shotgunners are actually in that corner. Now we have a million and ten imps to deal with. So as I said in the previous episode, imps are not really seen as the weak enemy now. I mean the tough enemy now, so more as a weaker one. That's why we go against big groups at another time. This bit could be a bit hard. But if I remember right, on PC version there's actually light goggles in there. Yes, there is. Oh, I hate these versions of them. Do I stop exploding things right on top of me? You missed. Oh, you got me that time. Well, these goggles really do help though. And that's everyone. Well, this actually accounts as a different secret. I didn't know that. Good thing I went in there. Alright, we've got every secret now. And the last three enemies are actually in the exit room. And there we go. And done. See, that map, it was definitely not one of my favourites. It's alright, I do enjoy it, but out of all the other maps, I don't think that one's as good as levels like Eve 1 and 7, or even the first map. But still, very enjoyable. So, next one we got is Eve 1 and 6. That's a good map. I enjoy that one. It's a bit long, a little bit challenging, but still quite enjoyable. So, anyway, until then, this has been Rocco Game 45, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.